Hello, I'm starting another page and it's like two in the morning and I don't know what I'm doing, but I better document it in case it does work. So what I'm thinking, um, first thing, you are going to get this paper from the eight by eight and it actually, I started cutting on it. So I thought I better show you guys what I'm doing. So you are going to first cut off this border, this border edge. So this border edge is attached to it. You just cut that off and put it in your save pile of cut aparts, of cutouts. Then you're going to measure down, I think it was six and a quarter, six and a quarter down, and then you are going to cut this part six and a quarter down, sorry, and you're going to cut this part off. So you're left with this image like that. I know it doesn't make sense right now, but we're going to be covering this up with something else. Then you are going to back this piece on black cardstock. So you just cut a piece of glass black cardstock and just frame it around um, that that image. And you're, you're, it's not going to be a flap. You are just going to um, put that down. Make sure you ink the edges, and then mat that on that black cardstock like that. So that's the first part. We are going to be covering up this bottom part down here because uh, we we need to hide some of this down here. So you are going to go to the 12 by 12 and you are going to cut this strip out and we are going to be placing that down here, probably in this direction like this. And that is about not, it's about three quarters of an inch, a little bit more than three quarters of an inch. Yeah. three. Um, seven eighths of an inch, but you're going to cut that part out. And then we are going to affix that to the bottom here. So I wanted to get you started on that. I'm not going to fix it yet. Then you're going to cut out a piece that I used 80 pound cardstock. This, I do not know the measurements exactly yet. I do know that it is seven inches wide. That's all I know right now. It's seven inches wide. And what I did is I scored it at one inch and one and a quarter inch. So we have a quarter inch gusset. And this paper is going to go on here. So you're going to cut this paper. This is from the, I believe this is the eight by eight. Um, backgrounds. You could use the 12 by 12 backgrounds. It doesn't really matter. We're just using this paper. Now, I don't really know how long this is going to be yet, but just getting everything organized. So when I do have it, at least you guys have this part down. So let me try to get everything um, organized. So I have the measurements of this piece with the quarter inch gusset. It's going to be what, seven and a quarter inches long. Make sure that's seven and a quarter inches long by seven inches. And then you're going to, again, you're going to be scoring it with the seven and a quarter inch side up. You're going to score it at one inch and one and a quarter and get that quarter inch gusset there. Now then this paper is from the eight by eight, I believe. You are going to cut that to fit. 
So you can go ad and adhere that down. And keep all your scraps. Everything you cut off, I think this is a scrap we just cut off of here. We might be using that for a pocket down here, so we might. Probably not, because I never mind. But never mind. But keep all your scraps for now. This piece is going to be something like this. Want all the the reveal on side to side and top to be about the same. It's going to be hanging below the other piece. And we are going to be affixing this piece down. And this is this whole thing is going to be a flap that's going to go up. So I'm going to go ahead and affix this down. And then I've already affixed my paper down. Still have to do some stuff and still have to add this piece. But anyway, I'm gonna get this, this affixed down and then put this down. Just one thing, when you are putting this piece on, once you figure out where you are going to put it, flip it over and then mark it on your, your, your little piece here because you do not want to put glue or score tape down here. This is, this is hanging over the bottom, over this edge. So you do not need to put glue or score tape down here, just up and through here that's covering this back piece. So I still haven't adhered this on to this flap. What I was thinking, here's a die, um, a scallop die, and what diameter is it? It is looks like almost a four inch diameter. And I cut out one of these circles from the, this is from the 12 by 12, I cut that circle out. The diameter of this is uh, almost, well, three and five eighths. So what I, and I painted this with just metallic gold paint I got. Uh, we have it in our shop. It's just a little tiny bottle. It's not very expensive. Just use a foam brush to put it on, slob it on, and then this is going to go on like this. So this, I want, I, that actually looks good but I wanted to make something, I can tuck something in. So I'm going to be putting this here. And the reason I need the little edging at the bottom is because I need to cover up the parts of her hand that are showing. Probably going to trim this a little bit. Let's just see how it looks. So it'd be something like that. My idea was that this edging would, um, I should have made this a little bit, well, what should I have done? Made it a little bit shorter. So if I make it a little bit shorter, will that work? Or just leave it like that. I've already inked and done everything. So I think that looks okay. So it's going to be sitting like, like that. I'm only going to be adhering this 
down down here because I want to have a, a, a tuck spot um, up here. That was my idea. I want to make a tuck spot and put something in here. Obviously not this, but something like that. So that is basically how I'm going to put it in. And also, if you are using glue or tape, leave this kind of edge just a little open at the bottom so we can slip some paper underneath it. And we're going to be adding a pull tab um, under here too. So just kind of add your adhesive to about here. You can always add more, but leave, you know, some space. So that is what I'm going to be doing. Like that. So my piece is complete. I glued it just down here. So it's open up here. Open up here so I can put what I want up in here. Now this is going on the inside front cover. This is the back piece that we're gonna build on, um, which I have measured the same size as the album, which is seven and a half by eight and a half. But I'm not going to adhere this down quite yet because I, need, I haven't built my album and I wanna make sure the measurements are right. But this piece is in and then we're gonna be having a flip this is going to be flipping up, and then we're going to be having a pocket, inside pocket here. So just put this um, somewhere, and we'll get back to it. Isn't that pretty? I just think that is so, so pretty. So we're going to go ahead and line our inside um, front and back cover. So the paper I'm going to be using is this from the 12 by 12. I believe this is the backgrounds. We're going, we're not going to be covering this up with any black cardstock because we're going to be using this. And we're going to basically cut it to fit this whole area in through here. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that and I'll be right back. So I've cut that out and I ink the edges and I have not adhered it down yet but it's going to be something like this. So I'm going to put this away because we're going to be working on the inside um, front cover. So go back to this piece that we've already made. I hope I have the video for this. I think I do. I hope I do. Uh, what you're going to do with this, you're going to cut a base page. This is going to be seven inches by eight and one quarter inches tall. This is seven inches. Remember this has a quarter inch gusset up here and it has this, um, what was that? Was that a one inch or? Yeah, it was a one inch flap. So what we're going to do with this, you're going to open this up and you are going to adhere this base page right up to that fold line there. So these are both seven inches, so it should just line up and you're going to adhere that down. I'm going to use my tape and then this will be folding over on that base. So that is what I'm going to do. So that flap is in. I I mitered the edges just a tad on each side, if you can see that. So that, that is going behind the base there, and just make sure it lines up straight down the here. So we're going to make a bottom flap to our piece. So we're going to cut a piece 7 inches by 5 inches. You're going to Put the five inch on top and you're going to score it at four and one eighth. 
and then four and a quarter. So you're going to have a quarter inch hinge. And if you can, make this out of um, 80, 85 pound cardstock, because anytime we have these, these little gussets, it's better to use um, a stronger paper just so the gusset doesn't collapse. And then just burnish those. And you're going to slightly mi uh, miter these little edges here up to the first score line. Just a little bit of mitering on both sides. So we have this flap in. So the way this is going to be adhered I've applied my score tape. This is actually going to be a pocket that's going to go like this. So we're going to be adhering it here. So when it closes up, it will be a pocket on the inside. So I'm going to get that situated straight. Make sure you've got your gussets well formed. I'm going to be putting the edge of this paper up to the edge of that um, where that first score line is here before we get to the gusset. So it's going to go like this and then I'm going to make sure it lines up straight so my edges are even here and then I'll pull the tape. But I've got to get my head way down here to do all that so um, I'll be back once I get that in. So we're going to make a pocket. So you're going to cut a piece four inches by nine and a quarter. Oops, is that right? Nine and a quarter. So you're going to put it um, at the four inch side. Where is my score tool? And score it at three and a half. Flip it around to the nine and a quarter, half an inch. And another half an inch on this side would, would be eight and three quarters. And we're going to dry fit this in before we, we make sure it fits. So we're going to open this up. So here's the top flap, here's the middle piece, and here's the bottom flap. So this is going to be going in the, this middle piece. So I'm going to fold this and fold this and just make sure it fits in this region and those it's not interfering with the, the hinges. That looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and fold and burnish all these three sides, miter my corners and the top here, and apply my tape, and I'll be right back. So score tape is on, corners mitered. So where this is going to go, so you can lift this up, and here is the right side of the panel. So this right side of the panel, this is going to be fitting towards, well, at the edge of the paper here at the right side of the panel. So get that in between those score lines and just pull the, the bottom tape, or if you're using um, glue, just put glue at the bottom. Don't adhere the, the side flaps. So we have this pocket in and I put my black construction tape over that lip. Do not adhere it down yet. 
So now we're going to be working on this bottom flap and we're going to be putting a pocket right in here. So you're going to cut a piece four inches by four and seven eighths. Put it in your scoreboard. Let's see, first the four inch side and you're going to score it at three and a half. And let's see, so that's the three and a half. It's going this way and then we're gonna score it at the four and three quarters, a half an inch. So what would that be? Oh my God, my brain does not work. Four and one quarter, is that? One, two, three. My brain is, I'm just gonna do it this way. A half an inch and a half an inch. Jeez, my brain. My brain, my brain. So we're gonna have a pocket that's going in this direction. I believe that's right. So uh, my brain, my brain. It should be going in like this. And it should be. So these two are like that. So yeah, so it's like that. Okay, so it is right. So go ahead and miter those corners, those um, flaps, not corners. Oh my gosh. Wow, my brain is offline today. And so I'm going to go ahead and miter everything and I'll be right back. So this pocket is eventually going to go down like, like what? Like this. But we are not going to put it in yet because we need some background paper first. So just have that off to the side. So we got to figure out what kind of paper we're going to be um, using for the inside here. So now we need to put in some magnets. So the magnets are gonna go up here. Here is this piece, so it's just below that piece, about um, not quite a half an inch down. So I'm gonna do one magnet at a time. So it's gonna transfer down to the top of this pocket here. So let's do this one, get it straight. And the other thing is you want to make sure that we get our gusset. We've got a quarter inch gusset, so we want it to pull down so we have that gusset formed. About right, right there, not too much. That looks good. Come on, magnet. There. didn't quite pull it down far enough. See where the, my gusset is? So let me, let me take this off. Don't like where that is. So let's try this again. Try this again. Use a wider tape this time. So you want this corner to be squared. So when it transfers down, you want it to keep that square. You want it to hold it in that square position. Transfer, 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 transfer. Okay. 
So let me see if it squared up. Okay, that one's good. So that, that's a good square there. So now we can transfer the other side. We'll use the fat tape so it has more stickiness to it. Easier to transfer that way. Same thing, you want this to be squared. That looks good. Transfer, 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 transfer. transfer. And then you have this flap. Now, I'm debating, does it really need a magnet? When you open this up, this will be down and this will be like this. I'll, do, I'll just put one in. I'm just gonna put it right here and here. So magnets, magnets, magnets. Where do I want it? I want it to be about right here. Of course, you can't see me, can you? So I'm putting my magnet so it is going to be transferred. So it's going to be about right here on the other side, about right there right there. See if this works. Oh my gosh, my finger's stuck. Oh, that's going to be on the edge there, so not good there. Let's try it. Work on this this way. Yes. So I'm going to go ahead and transfer it over. And oh, same thing. We got a, a gusset down here, don't we? Small little gusset. That transfer. Ah, oh, transfer crooked. But I'll... I, I think that'll be okay. It's shifted. You can always pull off a little bit of that tape. Uh, yeah. Anyway, it's transferred. So that's over. That's over. So now we just need to add our designer paper. So we are working, or at least I am working on this that we hadn't finished. This is going to be on the inside front cover. The paper that's going to go under there is this one. Now, the way I cut this, it's three and three quarter inches in this direction. And then it just, it just is fitting over the pocket like that. So the edges, here are the same as here. So it's going to go like that. Now the piece I had wasn't quite, um, maybe you have a piece that's the same size. This is, this is from the 12 by 12. And you can tell this one is from the eight by eight. So neither of them was tall enough, but I had this little strip and I don't know where it came from, but maybe I cut it off from down here. I might have cut it off from down there. I don't know, probably did. But anyway, that is going to go down here. And then this strip is going to go up here like that. 
So that is going to be this part. So let me put that away so I can get that fixed. Now this, this pocket piece, this is from, this is from the 12 by 12. It's like this on one side and like this on the other side. So what I did is I cut this piece out on this side. It is starting at the edge of the, the presence there and it's going up, I think, eight and, about eight and a quarter inches. It's going to have to be a little bit less than eight and a quarter because the pocket is eight and a quarter. And it is three and not quite a half, three and a half, three and um, one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, three and three eighths. So that's going to sit here. I've got to ink the edges. And then this piece, it's not, you can put it in like that if you like. That would be fine too, but I am going to flip it around and put the tree so the tree goes in something like this. So about three quarters of the tree showing and then cut it, cut it here. So that is going to go in like that. So I'm gonna get those all inked, cut, and put in, and then we'll have to figure out what goes here on the top flap and on the, the inside bottom flap. So I cut this piece and this piece. This piece, just so you know, I kind of got the tree centered here. This piece is five and just a tad over five and one quarter. But this is going to slide into this pocket like this and then it's going to have the tree, about three quarters of the tree showing. And then this piece is going to be like this. So I am going to go ahead and get those down. So these are in, and now we're going to work on the bottom inside flap. I already added a ribbon right here. It's just to the left of the magnet right there. So it's perfect because it's, it's right in the middle of this pocket right here. So pull that down, because you have that magnet. Pull that down. We come to this bottom inside flap and we're going to be using this paper from the 12 by 12. I got the gold up in here and it's going to be down in through here like that. So that's going to go on down here, kind of picks up the stars here, the stars up in, in this paper. And then up on this just little piece right up here, this slip right here, it's going to also be this red star paper. So it's just a sliver that's going to go up in here. So I'm going to cut that out and then get those two pieces matted. Okay, so I put this ribbon in. You could definitely use gold if you like. I just wanted to pick up some of the blues, blue greens, so I picked that one. I had a red, that a cranberry red would work too, but the cranberry did not stand out with this. Just kind of blended in, so I think that looks good on the back. So these this, these two ribbons, this and this, are centered with each other. So they're little pole ribbons. I think that looks very, very beautiful. Now, this this part here, I've been trying to find something I like that adds a pop of color, isn't too busy, 
kind of goes with what we have, the way this looks now. Um, it's just, I've tried everything. So, but this is what I came up with. I wanted to keep it toned down. I have a pop of red down here and then the pop of red up there. So these are from my scraps. This, I believe, is this, this is either from, I don't know if this is from the 12 by 12, or the, I, oh, this must be, yeah, this is the 12 by 12, because this is the, this is the eight by eight. So this is from the 12 by 12. This is what I had left. So this is almost seven inches. This is six and seven eighths inches, and it is three and a half inches wide. That's what I had left. So I ink that, that is going up there. I want it to bring in some of the turquoise that we have up in here. So that just kind of pulls in the turquoise. And then this, strip. I've had it forever. I love this strip and this is what was on the back of it and I'm going to turn it so the little rope edge is on the top. This is going to go like this and it's going to form like a little pocket so we can put something in our little pocket like that. So I think that looks pretty good. It's not too wild, not too busy, and I think it pulls the colors of the blues and the, the beiges all together. So I'm going to put this down and then this down just on three sides, and we will be back. Okay, so the paper is in, and I used, this is from the 8x8 of this. And I just put um, cut a little strip to fill in that um, quarter inch um, gusset there. That is less than a quarter of an inch. It's in between a quarter inch and an eighth of an inch. So I think that looks that looks good. So the whole thing is going to be like this. Now there's going to be a pocket down here. I don't know. I guess I still want to make that pocket. That was the whole idea was to make a pocket down here. This was the pocket you were you were made um, way long time ago, so it's going to sit in like this. I don't know if I like that. It's a little too it's a little too wide because it doesn't even show our paper. So maybe I'll make this a little bit smaller um, and rescore this here. But I think this looks really pretty. And we've got a tuck spot there. We have a, a huge pocket that we can put lots of stuff in here. That's why we have such a big gusset. And then we're going to have a pocket down here too. So still working on this. So I rescored the pocket. So what it's going to be, you're going to cut... Um, or you can modify your, your other pocket, um, this, if you've already made it. I just rescored it. I just want to redo it. So this is going to be four and three quarters. And on the four and three quarter side up, you're going to score it at a half an inch and a half an inch. On the four inch side, you're going to score it at a half an inch. So this is going to be three and a half inch deep pocket. And... This is going to go down, down here. Let's see, is that enough showing of the paper? I think so, because I was going to bring this in for a pocket. Let's see, do I want to make it a little bit... I think that'll, that'll be okay. Be like this. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to get, this is from your 
your cutout that you had made when you made this. So we're going to use this, bring this back in, and I'm going to get this cut out, mitered, and taped, and I'll be right back. So there's the pocket. This was my original. This That's the way I was going to have it. Then I just turned it over and I go, oh, this actually looks even better. I like the little notes right there. What I think I'm going to do, I'm not sure. Do I want to make a little notch here? You could, but then it would destroy the symmetry here. I don't know. You could. You could do that, but I think I'm going to leave it like that. So I'm going to ink it and get this down. So I have this in. I think that looks real nice, good symmetry here. And I put my black construction tape, so make sure you do that so whatever you put in here doesn't get hooked up on that. And I'm just gonna pull my, my tape, and then we just need to make a little insert for this. I think it's so cute. So I made a little um, insert uh, for this little pocket using the leftovers that we cut off for this. And then I had this left over from cutting the angel up here. So just go through your scraps, see what you have. This. This is, I think it's three and a half by five, by five and a half, three and a half by five and a half. And then that just fits in our little pocket here. And that just looks so nice down there. I still need to make a big tag here, but that will come at the end. I've got so many scraps I need, um, I can use. So I think that's it for this page. We'll be putting it in shortly. I'm not going to put it in quite yet until I finish the back cover. I haven't finished the back inside cover. So that'll be... Oh, isn't... I just think it's so pretty. So I want it to come back in and show you what the completed inside front cover looks like. So I made a little tag. This is one of the cut aparts from the collection and just added a to and from label. You don't have to do that, but if you're giving it to somebody, this is just from a Christmas label that I had. And I again used a, an eyelet and some gold ribbon this time. So that is going to be fitting in here. And then you lift this up haven't changed anything up here. This is the same that you saw. Here's this big pocket here. So I made a lot of inserts. So this is one of the, the elements and I just backed it with some paper, did an, an eyelet and some ribbon there too. Made a, a photo card and then a big tag with another eyelet. So that is all fitting in here. And then down here, you saw this, just a, a photo mat and did it, um, you know, cover both sides and that fits in. And, oh, and then I did this. I got that, um, this greetings from the collection. I think, I think that was from the eight by eight, could be from the, the 12 by 12 I'm not sure I just backed it on um, the gold the gold that we we painted and some black cardstock just to pop it out and put that right in the center of, of that pocket like that so I think this page turned out really nice 